What is good? What is going on? Knuckleheads and Wet Shave fans. Um, this is a live unboxing, actually, because I don't know how long this is going to take. And I don't know if I have enough room on my phone to post it, so we're doing it live. What I have here is, is a Instagram prize I won. Um, I won it the other day. Um, somebody posted a picture of, like, I think there's seven... I said, say you're in if you, if you want a chance to win my software. I'm moving, so I need to get rid of some software. So I was like, sure, I'm in. There's like seven soaps. I'd never tried any of them. Um, so I was super pumped to try to be in. So a couple days later, I get an email saying, oh, I, uh, here's uh, give me your address. You, you won my uh, draw on Instagram. So I gave him the draw, and he writes me back later that day. He says, okay, it's a t the package is about 18 pounds. And I thought to myself, 18 pounds is only like seven or eight soaps. So I went back and looked at the post. And there's actually like eight or nine slides worth of gear. So it's crazy. Most of it's soap. Um, there's a shavette and a, a brush in here. But as you can see, that is the box. 18 pounds, I think it says. Somewhere on it. It says, it says somewhere. Eight, yeah, 18 pounds. It's right on the top. So we're going to get into this, see what we got. And uh, people that are watching, you guys can try and tell me what shave soap I should use today out of this gear. Um, the good thing is, after looking through all the pictures, I think I only two of the soaps in here I'd ever used. Maybe three of like the 25, I think. So I'll be giving those away. Um, we have meetups here in, on the East Coast there, and I'll or give those to friends or to people at the meetups there. So it'll all be going to a good home because there's no way I'm going to be able to use all these soaps with all the other soaps I already have. So we're going to open this up. I'm going to put it on the floor so I have room to put this up. First thing to do is get rid of all the packs. Frasa White Pre-Shave Cream. Um, I actually have the green. I actually really like this stuff. This is a great stuff. Uh, this is for sensitive skin, I believe. Um, it's great stuff. If you ever use this stuff, it's awesome. Use it as a pre-shave or a post-shave. Awesome stuff. Thank you for that. That's great stuff. You can find that locally at most uh, shoppers, drug marks, or pharmacies kind of thing. Uh, next up. Oh, I've never tried this. This is one of the ones I've heard. Is Figaro. I see this. I believe it's Italian. It's made by Chung Fung Sing, so it's good quality stuff there. I'm not sure if the... Hmm. Not much of a scent there. A little bit just like a soapy, clean scent. Not bad. Figaro. Interesting by that, because I see it in a lot of Shave of the Days here. Next up, oh, we got a couple of uh, almond... Uh, Colonel Conks. I've never actually tried Colonel Conks soap. Some guys like them, some guys don't. But I have two pucks here, so I definitely won't be needing both. So one of them will definitely be getting given away. Not to see if it messes with my skin, because sometimes I'll... Blades, surprisingly. Um, a whole bag full of feathers. And I love feathers, so this is actually amazing. I didn't see it. This the actual... Uh, didn't see that was in the prize, so that is awesome. Next up, oh my goodness. There is stuff in here that was not pictured. Like, what's in here? Oh man. Look at this. This. Wow. The Small Batch Shave Tonic. This stuff gets some rave, rave, rave reviews. This is a Winter Reserve. That is awesome. Oh, that's nice. That's a masculine, kind of like a rummy, like a boozy scent. Wow, that is awesome. Wow, impressive. Thank you for that. That was not pictured either, so that's a huge surprise. Wow. Thank you again. Um, triple B, T-R-I-P-E-L-B-4113 is the Instagram of the guy that I wanted off of. Alex, I believe is his name. Let's grab some more stuff. Another Call Conk Almond. So we got three of those now. Let's see here next. Oh, next up, the Stallion. Uh, guys love this. I've never tried the Stallion. I believe it's Oud, if I'm not mistaken. Oh, yeah. That actually is a really nice scent. 
Wow, I like that. So, Razor Rock the Stallion. Take it easy, Andy. Good to see you, buddy. Cheers. Thanks for tuning in. Next up, Barrister and Man's Bay Rum. I love Barrister and Man's stuff, and I've never actually tried their Bay Rum. Oh, yeah. Really nice. I like that Bay Rum. It's a little bit more of a spicy Bay Rum, so it's got that clove hit there. Really nice. Let's see what we got next. Oh, this is a blast kind of from the past there. Strop Shop. Um, if you've ever tried Strop Shop, there, I've gone away, but I think... Sterling has the rights to some of their scents now. Strop Shop is was fantastic when it was out. Um, it has tallow and lanolin. One of my it was one of my favorite soaps for a long time. And this is Pesh. Awesome, super happy to have that in my den because I don't have any strop shop in my den, so this is awesome. I actually gave away my strop shop stuff, I traded it away, which was dumb because, like, literally like a week after I traded it away, they said they were closing down, so I didn't have any. But, anyways, let's go on to the next thing. Oh, next up, the A plus from Phoenix Shaving, which is cool because I actually have the brush that came out when this was first launched. I can't remember if this is maple. I can't remember the exact scent in here. It's a nice scent. It's a kind of a gourmandy, sweet, like a waffle kind of. It's kind of like a Belgian waffle, I guess a Canadian waffle, but not super strong. I usually find uh, PAA soaps to be really strong whenever I smell them. So it's a little bit weaker than I thought it would have been, but it's a nice scent. It's enjoyable. So very cool. Actually, it would smell, would smell good with my twice baked beard oil that I have. So. Very cool. Thank you for that. Oh, here's one I, I had. This is one of the soaps I actually have tried. And this is Saturday morning from Katie's Bubbles. I actually had this when it was called Buchel's Fruité or Fruit. Um, it smells like Fruit Loops. Oh, yeah. See, to me, it smells like a Campino, the cream, the uh, peaches and cream candy. That's what this smells like to me. Really nice packaging on Katie's Bubbles. Really great labels. Love the side labels. Great stuff. There we go. Thank you for that. Oh, and here's a combo. Soap Commander Courage. Um, I've only had a sample of one Soap Commander, and I really, really liked it. So this is awesome, having the courage. Peppercorn, citrus, and cedar. Oh, that sounds like it'll be nice. Let's get some these. They've got these huge tubs. Really great for lathering in. Oh, that's a nice scent. Hi, Flash. How's it going? I have a scent that smells a lot like this. Really nice, though. I like that. Really ma kind of a masculine, but not overly masculine. Pretty full tub still in there. If you can see. Yeah, that's awesome. And the matching aftershave bomb, so that's very cool. Awesome. Great test from uh, Soap Commander in my den. Fantastic. All right. Oh, next up. Yeah, it's kind of like the sour citrus shaves. Really nice. If you like citruses, this is one of those must-try kind of soaps. A lot of guys rave and love this stuff. Um, lemon, orange, grapefruit, mandarin, lime, and bergamot. I find like the lemon and the grapefruit really shine through, just that bitter tartness. Not overly bitter. And you get a little bit of the lime. Really nice. Hi, right, Robert. How's it going? Yeah, Flash, I got some goodies. 18 pounds worth of goodies, buddy. <laughs> So there we go. There's the Hydra. Really nice. Thank you for that. That's awesome. Let's see here. A Shavette. Looks like I have to try a Shavette out at some point. Don't know if I'll try a Shavette out today. But there we go. Oh, it's got the cover. It's the Dobo Shavette. Really nice. Very cool. I'll have to give that a, give that a use. And this is one that comes with the different attachments on it so that'll be really interesting to use i haven't used a shavette for a while um but they are very good to, to learn like straight shaving if you want to get into straight shaving try one of these first see if you like it um pretty inexpensive way to try that which is always great um next up oh we got a i didn't know this was in here an omega bore brush 
This does not look like it's been used, or if it has, it has not been used much. Awesome. Well, light handle. Really big. Look at the size. That's a, that is a big, big knot in there. Yeah, I don't think this has been used at all, and if it has, not very much because it's not really that broken in. So that is very cool. Awesome. Thank you so much for that. This is like a den unpacking. This is crazy. All right. Oh, next up, we have some uh, Pacific Shaving Company caffeinated shaving cream and aftershave. I don't, doesn't, this one hasn't even been opened. Still got the seal on it, so really cool. Um, this one has been opened, so I'm going to smell this. Let's see, a shaving cream with a kick. It doesn't really say what scent or anything it is, so let's take the lid off. I got a, a bit stuffed up, so I can't smell that. Great, and it's not letting me open it that way, so. Can't really get a good sniff on it, so it's not super strong smelling, but that'll be worth giving a try for sure. Next up, holy jeez, another Kalkonk, conch, Colonel Conk, this time lime. I know this stuff smells really good. Yeah, this one smells almost like a lime shampoo or a lime like body soap kind of thing. It's got that little scent going. It's not my favorite, definitely not my favorite lime, but still very cool. Oh my goodness, there's so much stuff in here. Then we got the uh, Jack Black Supreme Shaving Cream. If you try, if anybody's tried any of this stuff, let me know what you think. If anything's good, anything's bad, let me know. Um, so that's the Jack Black. I've seen this actually in the stores locally. So, oh, it's got like a minty scent to it. Smells nice. That's the Jack Black there. Running out of room. Uh, next up is the well, the pre-shave soap and lather booster. The Phoenix Arsenal Mentholated Ice. Oh, it's still in the wrapper, so that is cool. That'll be getting used this summer. Um, I'm a, I love menthol, so that's very cool. Where do you get all this stuff? Oh, uh, Flash, I got all this stuff. I actually won it on an Instagram giveaway. Um, I thought it was just like five or six soaps, and it turned out to be 18 pounds worth of soap. So, yeah, that's where I got that. Um, Next up is a one that I've always wanted to try. Mickey Lee Soapworks Panty Dropper. I wish they didn't change their labels, Mickey Lee, for a bit, because I love their old labels, like these ones. I don't know, there's something about them. You could always tell what they were. I, I just always really enjoyed their old labels. Not that old, their new ones are bad. I just prefer labels. Oh. I'm trying to figure out what that scent is. It's really nice, though. I don't think it says on here. Is it a panty dropper? I don't know. I can't say I'd drop my panties for the smell of soap, but that's just me. But that smells really nice. Really like the scent of that. Very cool. Let's see. Okay. Oh. Another layer of stuff. Oh, here we go. Something I've never tried. A lot of you probably have. Parasso Red. So red is the sandalwood, I believe. Oh, that's, man, that's really nice. Wow. That is, a, I actually really like the scent of that. It's just a straight up, like a, a little bit of a sweet-ish sandalwood. Um, really nice though, wow. I'm surprised more guys don't use the red the red Parasso than the green, because that's actually an awesome scent. I'm really surprised by how nice that smells, really good. Oh, here's, here's, this is one of the soaps that I really, 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 really wanted to see. I really want to try. Um, Cella or Cella. Uh, this is Italian almond. Oh yeah. I love the smell of like the cherry marzipan. <coughs> and this has it. And this is people love it. This is one of the best lathering soaps, one of the easiest soaps to lather. So I cannot wait to try this. The reason I always held off on trying it is because of the almond. Um, I don't know how my skin fares. A lot of times with almond, my skin doesn't like it, but sometimes it doesn't mind it. So this will be getting used soon. Um so, there we go. Well, Flash, you don't like Santa Lynn Almond yet? It's one of those things that, that's the great thing about shaving is some guys love certain scents, some guys hate them. So, I'm looking forward to trying that one. Let's see, next up. Sorry, Flash, but True Fit and Hill Almond Shaving Cream. I'm a huge fan of True Fit and Hill stuff, whether it's their Apsley or 1805. It doesn't matter. I just think True Fit and Hill is, their creams work so well for me. Oh, that is awesome. This smells 
That is probably the nicest smelling almond soap. I actually prefer the smell of this over the cella. Wow, that is, I just hope my skin can take it. Um, I hate getting soaps that I can't smell. A Dartmouth shaving mark, three more. Oh, here's one of the other soaps that I have tried. And uh, this is actually one of my all time favorites. One of the first like above the cheap bite at Walmart soaps I ever tried. Tobs Eat in College, one of the best scents I think in wet shaving. Um, one of those must try, when somebody says that they're going to be buying, wants to try Tops, I always recommend Eaton College. I just think it's an amazing scent. I really, nice masculine, cologne scent, really, 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 really awesome, awesome scent. Lathers itself. One of the easiest lathering creams, probably the easiest lathering cream there is, in my opinion. So there's that. Club. Guys seem to really, really enjoy this one. I think it's a cologne scent. Oh yeah, that's fantastic. That's a really nice scent. Chris did an awesome job on that. Wow, that's awesome. I can't wait to try that one. I'll definitely be giving that one a go. And let's try it. Let's give a sniff to the Jasmine. That's kind of cool, actually. <laughs> she don't mind that at all. It's not like, it's very, very much banana, but there's a little bit more going on than just bananas. Even though it's called just bananas, I think there's some others. There's like a berry or something along with the banana in that, but that's, I actually, like, I'm surprised by how much I actually enjoy that scent. It's actually one of my favorites so far um, of what I've smelled so far, so that'll be up there. You've tried Tobbs. Did you like uh, Tobbs there, Robert? I love Tobbs. I mean, it's, it's, I don't think it's the best performing like uh doesn't have the best protection and slickness but i think for ease of lather it doesn't get any easier than tops to be honest oh here we go yeah let's see here yeah. so next up we have some packages of williams soap williams mug soap so at our next meetup, I'll definitely be giving away some Williams Mug Soap. Um, so there's three of this version, and then there's four of this version. I'm, I'm trying to think of, I don't want to take up too much of your guys' time. I'm not going to look, I know there is a difference. I don't know if it's just the packaging or where it was bought. Um, but I'll try to find that out there. So put those away. I am running out of counter space. And by running out, I mean I'm pretty much out. I'll take the camera off and show you guys after, like, how stupidly ridiculous this is. Um... Next up, oh, the Omega brush uh, with the Omega soap. Very cool. Um, let's see here. This is brand new. This I don't think this has been used. Still look. Oh, okay. Maybe the brush has been used a little bit, but it's the brush, the soap, the uh, brush holder, all in here. Very, very cool. I'm going to leave that in there for now. And I'm going to keep on unboxing. Let's see, I'll put that down. Go to the floor. Oh, here we go. Here's some of the uh, Dovo Shavette blades, which is awesome. Because I think it, you, there's like an adapter that you put in different size blades. Um, so there we go with that. Yeah, a lot of guys don't like the Williams, but some guys do. It's, one of those, like, it's definitely not the best soap, but it's definitely one of the cheapest soaps. So that's why a lot of guys try it first. All right, here we go. All right, here's the, the last one of the soaps that I actually had tried, and that is the Macaroot from Body Shop. This is a great soap uh, or cream. It performs phenomenally, really. A really great. The scent to me is meh, but performance-wise, it's great. Um, yeah, I think it was just more the scent that I wasn't the biggest fan of, but it's not bad. It's pretty decent. It's actually a really, really great performer. Uh, definitely something worth checking out, so that is the Macaroot from body shop and it comes in a big tub 6.3 ounces like this sucker weighs up well 6.3 ounces i was gonna say a ton but clearly just weighs 6.3 ounces but yeah great great uh performing uh cream there um let's see here oh, let's see here we go okay 
Now here's one of the ones that I was really interested in. And it was uh, Midnight Stag from Chiseled Face. I had one Chiseled Face a long time ago. I used it once and I ended up trading it. Um, the root is slick cream if you a head shaver. Yeah, it's the, the MAC root is a super, super slick um, cream, which usually most creams don't tend to be super slick, but the, the MAC root, I do remember recall about that. It is a but here's the chisel say it's midnight say I heard this has got like a really potent, really strong smell. So I'm kind of interested in like how strong it actually is. You can just tell from the puck that it's gonna be a Whew. Yeah, that's a strong scent. Is that leathery and I like it though. That's really nice. That's about as masculine as it gets as a midnight stag. Hmm. I have to look up the notes in that, but that's actually great, great scent. And I know guys love the chiseled face. I think it's a, a great performing soap, so I'm pumped to have that as well. A couple more left. Let's see here. Another Tobbs coconut. I've smelled this, but I haven't used it. That's a nice coconut smell. Almost as nice as the... Uh, turtle ship but not quite definitely a nice scent though if you like coconut i think this is a nice one um and if you like creams smells nice and tobs does perform very well very cool uh next one is crown king jabon de guillermo i don't know I, i've never heard i don't know if i've even heard of this the jabon de guillermo well hmm Ah, uh, not much of a scent to this, really. There's a little bit of scent. It almost reminds me like of a like citronella or something like that. A little bit of citronella or something like that in there. Um, yeah, just kind of not very much scent to that. But there's that, the Crown King. You can't win them all, right? They like just love every scent. Next is uh, Magi from Phoenix Arsene Accoutrement. Um, I smelled this. I, I can't remember if I liked it or disliked it. Yeah, it's kind of a, I don't know, I find with Phoenix, either there's a few that I love and the other ones are just kind of meh to me. Um, yeah, it's okay. It's got like, I don't know if it's patchouli or, yeah, it's just okay, the scent of it, but uh, still very awesome. Phoenix Magi, or Magi, I don't know how to say it. Um, couple left. Ooh, Barrister Man Seville. This is the old school labeling, so it's a, one of the original formula oh yeah Seville is kind of like uh Barrister Man's barbershop it's fantastic it really is like a middle of the road barbershop it's not too florally it's not too fougerish it's not too sweet it's kind of right in the middle there really great scent um I had a sample of this when I first first started wet shaving um so that's how this back in the den because I really really enjoyed this um, I remember I had Cheshire and I almost bought a tub of Cheshire, but I'm glad I tried a sample of it because Cheshire to me smelled like Thrills gum. So Seville, fantastic, awesome. Really pumped about that. We're down to four things left. Four things left. Next up, we'll go with, ooh, another Mickey Lee, Kokomo. I think it smells like, I think it's the one that smells like pina coladas, I believe. Yep, it smells like a pina colada. Oh, so it's got some like fruitish in there. It got a little bit of coconut. Oh, that's really, this is really, 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 really awesome. What a great, this is a great scent. This is fantastic. Wow. I really like that. Maybe it's because the weather's getting better and it's more in the mood for that kind of thing. But Mickey Lee Kokomo. See, I love these old labels. They're awesome. Fantastic. Let's see here. Next up, we got, oh, one of the most mentholated soaps there is. I believe people love it. Ultra mentholated shave soap. You can probably guess just by looking at that what it is. And if you can't, Yeti Snot. I'm super pumped to try this because I have some other cold soaps and I would love to see how this compares. Oh yeah, I should not have done that. That is really strong. The menthol, you can, Pretty much smell the menthol. That is, I think it's just pure menthol. This soap. I don't know if there's any real. You get that mentally mint flavor, but other than that, it's just straight up. Yeah, I'm super pumped to try that. I'll give that a go. Maybe one week I'll just use all my most mentholated soaps and see 
which one comes out on top. Um, next up, the last soap. Yep, the last soap to come out is... This is one I'm really interested in trying because I've heard great things. I heard it smells like suntan lotion a bit. And this is The Beach from Phoenix Arson Accoutrements, an Italian barber. Let's see here. Oh yeah, it does kind of smell like The Beach. Yeah, it's, I'm not sure exactly. Uh, the scent isn't just isn't that strong in these. But it smells nice. Let's see here. Uh, cryogen is rather cool too. Yeah, I've heard cryogen's crazy. Um, I haven't tried cryogen, so I can't compare the Yeti stock to that. But I've got uh, Vosh stock, which is super cold. Um, I've got uh, what's it called? I got a uh, first Canadian just came out with it. With the, what's their cold one called? Polar vortex, which isn't crazy crazy cold, but super cold. Yeah, that's the scent's almost got. It smells nice, but there's not that much scent on it. It's kind of interesting that they put the little tape around there to make it look a little bit different, so that's cool. And now the last, but not least, um, probably the razor I will use today. That's right, I got a razor too. That is the Fine Super Light Slant Razor. So, it's, I'm not a huge fan of light razors, Well, I wasn't. I also haven't used a Super Light Razor in a long time, just because... In my head, I've been saying I don't like super light razors. So, I'm interested to give this a try. As I haven't used a super light razor in a long time. Look, at this is such a cool... The box is actually really cool. This is... Cr I cannot believe how light this thing is. This is amazing how light this is. Very... Like, it seems... It, it almost seems like a kid's toy. To me... In a way, like, I don't know if you guys have ever tried these, but it just seems... Well, the good thing is the, uh, the screw and the inside, that's all, that's uh, actually like steel or metal or whatever. So that's good. It's not all plastic. But yeah, it just seems super light, but I'll give it a whirl today. So that's the uh, fine super light slant razor. There we go. All right, so let me take my camera off and show you guys exactly what we have here. At least try. Let's see here. I turn the camera around if I can. So if you, as you can see, all of that stuff came in this box. In case you missed out, there's a lot, a lot of soap there. And then we got the other four boxes of Williams. We got the slant. Let's put that there. We got Seville, and the Magi, and we got the Coconut Shave Cream. Let's see here. Supply and Sauce Hey, what's up, JR? How's it going, buddy? Just doing my unboxing, and I got a whole crap ton of stuff. So, guys, what do you think I should be using for my first shave with this stuff? Should I be going with the, uh, I think I'll definitely have to use the Slant Razor. Um, for sure. A guy was moving, he had an Instagram giveaway. I thought it was just five soaps, JR, and it ended up being 18 pounds worth of soaps. So that's how I got this stuff. So I'm gonna use this razor, but now which soap should I use? Should I use like the Kokomo? Um, what other one was I? The Just Bananas. Or oh, let's see another one that I was really looking forward to using there. Um, so many here. I can't believe there's the Stallion, Nightclub, the Strop Shop Peach, maybe. What do you guys think? What, what, should I, what should I use today? I'm not using Williams Mug Soap. <laughs> I got all this stuff. I'm, Williams Mug Soap is not getting used for my first shave of this stuff. That, sorry, I'm just not going to do that. Um, too much great stuff here to use the Williams Mug Soap. So what do you think? Should I go with the... Uh, I'm leaning maybe towards Kokomo. Um, let's see, or, or maybe the peach from the Strop Shop. Let's see, or maybe the Just Bananas or the Panty Dropper. What do you guys think? First person to chime in, other than Williams Mug Soap or Macaroot, or one that I've tried, I will use today. There's also the Cella, the Courage from Soap Commander. 
There's the Yeti Snot. Um, Stallion. There's Bear Sermon Seville. Just Bananas. All right, we'll use Just Bananas. That'll be the first shade. We'll use Just Bananas. The Fine Slant Razor. Boom. Awesome. Thank you guys for tuning in. I'm going to let you all go. You've seen my mug enough. Um, thanks for tuning in, guys. Really appreciate it. Um, yeah, thanks for all the support over all this. Uh, been having a rough go of it lately. I'm out of here.